The Restaurant Opportunity Center is a uh, multicultural worker-led center dedicated to improving working conditions and wages for all restaurant workers. Um, our movement started out of the September 11th tragedy. On September 11th, when the towers were bombed, um, there was a restaurant on top that also came down with the towers called Windows on the World. Um, this restaurant was a unionized restaurant. The workers there had a lot of benefits and were able to support their families uh, working there. And many of them had worked there for 10 or more years. Um, so when the place came down, the workers got together and tried to help each other with uh, providing support and relief services, um, help each other find new jobs, and basically what they came to realize is that there aren't that many great restaurant jobs um, to begin with that offer benefits the way that they had before. So. Um, the owner of Windows on the World opened a new fine dining restaurant less than a year after the towers came down and refused to hire back any of his former employees. Um, they didn't think that that was right, so they got together and protested on opening night. And because it was such a high profile place and so soon after the tragedy, it got a lot of media attention and the workers were able to sit down at the negotiating table with the owner and they were offered back their jobs for anybody who wanted it. Um, empowered by that victory, coupled with all of the media attention they got, they started getting phone calls from workers all across New York City who also wanted help in their various situations. And our co-founders, um, Saru Jayaraman and Fekak Mamdu, decided to um, develop a three-pronged theory of change that would help restaurant workers in New York City and since then um, the organization has gone national and we are now in um, New York, Philadelphia, DC, um, Chicago, Los Angeles, New Orleans and Miami and uh, soon in Houston in the Bay Area and we're growing and um, we are very proud to uh, help restaurant workers through um, engaging in direct uh, workplace justice campaigns, showing workers how to organize and really make their workplaces better, um, through doing research and policy to elevate our voices and our issues, and then finally through working with employers who do provide benefits and dignity in the workplace and showing that um, you can be prosperous and treat people well at the same time. So that's work.